Bonjour, hello, welcome to Max Mountain World. Welcome to in front of the man cave and uh, what I call my garden. It's not really much, just a little plot, but there's enough room to play with things like antennas. So today's subject, a bit of antenna play. Now, I'll just get today's uh, view check out the way, just looking down to the northwest, across towards the Parc des Ecrans. We've got a beautiful sunny day here. It's uh, one o'clock in the afternoon and temperature just now is about 10 degrees and getting warmer for the afternoon. Beautiful sunshine and uh, yeah, just views like this. A couple of months yeah. ago, uh, I got a couple of friends of mine in uh, Scotland who made up a, a, one of these Moxon antennas for me. I've done a few videos on it. I'll put some links in up there as we go through this video. This should be a short video. And uh, I got this, and what a fantastic piece of kit that these guys set up for me. I modified it for two reasons. One, because I gave them wrong information for my center frequency. And two, which meant the wire wasn't right, the, the length and stuff. And two, I wanted to make it so that it was dead easily assembled in the field, as it were. Now, I've got... The original wire, I've got the second wire that I made, and the third one I got right. It's like so many things. You build a house, it's the third house you build that you get right. The first one you find your mistakes, the second one you think about the refinements, the third one you get it right. So, I've ended up with two wires for the Moxon, which, nothing to do with them really. So I've taken the original one, and with the knowledge that my terrace here is kind of like just a bit bigger than the actual Moxon size. I figured that I could rig up something here and why not? Nothing better to do in confinement. So I'll explain what I've done here and how it's going and what's going to happen next with it. So a quick return in the shack and uh, sorry I've got the dishwasher running just now so there might be a little bit of noise to the side. But the way I've got this set up is I've got, there's a microphone microphone, there's a radio, radio, and it comes out the radio, the, part, the the antenna comes out the radio and goes straight into an antenna switch here, where it can go to there, which goes through SWR meter, which isn't a very good one, and into this switch, where I can switch between, I've got a mag mount on the terrace, or experimental is one on the right, which is the current one on this Moxon wire. Now, this switch can either switch to those or switch back to the Antron which actually runs through the amplifier as well. So it's all set up and ready to go for testing, all oh, it's, it's just for comparison's sake, it's just a switching thing. Now, just a, a quick mention on that one as well, as I've got this uh, which runs out of the linear and uh, if I just key up you'll see what's happening. and that's peaking 500 whiskies. So, okay, so outside here, I've had to put a bit of tape in because I keep going out and out to do things and I keep nearly beheading myself, so that's just to remind me on the way out. Now that uh, cable that I've got for the antenna comes out, outside, one goes away, up to the top, and I've got this experimental one rigged up here, and it's only a temporary rough connection, but it's just for playing around with to see how I get on with tuning and whatnot. So this is the, the Moxon wire, the original one that came with the antenna. So that's the active element, the insulator going down and the whole of this back section is the reflector that runs round to the other insulator and then back up to the other side of the, the dipole feed for the Moxon. Now, the other thing I've done here as well is that if you follow up, this is going to be difficult to do with the camera, if you follow this wire around and you'll see the direction of it 
I've got, this is so difficult, pointing, it's, it's actually just pointing to the side of the building there, which is directly southwest. And I've got it at an angle, you can see as well, where it's pointing just above the buildings there. Now that might be too steep an angle for DX or whatever, or so I thought, because as usual, the minute I try anything out with uh, uh, antennas or radios or whatever, the propagation dies and I can't really test it properly. That's the mag mount sitting there, boxed up and looking a bit different so people don't raid it when they're coming past in the main road here. So that's the direction I've got, just up above that lamp post, light post there, and it's heading straight up that way. Now I thought originally that this might do something, it might not. It's sort of tuned in, and when I did fire it up there was a tiny bit of prop. I couldn't hear anything on the, the Antron. But this did actually pick up Brazil. And the idea I've got here, I'm going to take this wire away and put the second wire on, which was a bit longer and a bit more suited to what I'm aiming for and what, against what I'm so far achieving with this. But my idea is I'm going to take readings from there once I've got it set up that it works and then move it little by little to have it as a sort of hidden antenna so that people can't see what it's like. The colours will go, it'll be all black and stuff and I'll, I'll be a bit more subtle with the feed cable and stuff. But just to have something permanently that works, something I can use as a comparison, something I can use with a second radio. There's some more news coming. And, uh, and that's it. So there'll be more on this. This is just the very beginning of it, the very first experiment. But as I said, it has tuned in. It has sort of tuned in. These mocks on antennas are very sensitive to being close to things like buildings, vehicles or whatever. Even the ground, they work so much more better when you're at least five and a half metres, at least a half wavelength above ground with it, as you'll see in some of the videos that I've done already with it. So you're having it in close proximity is a whole different thing. There's wood, there's stone, there's glass, there's everything here. There's metal on the front here and whatnot. So uh, it's just something to play with. I've got time by the bucket load during this confinement, so why not? Right, so first video done on playing with antennas. And uh, we'll see how it goes. If there's anything further that I come up with here, then I'll do another video. So anyway, as regards this video, thanks very, very much for watching. Remember, subscribe down there. When you've done so, click on the alert bell and click all, and you'll be notified of further uploads from Max Mountain World. All your feedback is much appreciated. You can make these comments below. You can click on the thumbs up, the thumbs down, all the feedback. It, it, it helps sort of steer me in a way with what I'm doing with the channel here. So anyway, that's it for today. Until the next video, thanks very much for watching. Ciao.